Most of us use a digital camera in some form, be it a professional SLR, compact or mobile phone camera. But it can be frustrating when you get that all-important holiday snap onto your computer to find that it's overexposed, blurred or you and your friends have suddenly got red eyeballs. But don't fret, there is photo editing software out there that can transfer your holiday snaps from dull and grey scenery to picture-perfect landscapes. So here's the Gadget Show's guide to editing your photographs. Most of us use our cameras in auto mode. It's a general setting that guarantees you good but not perfect pictures. To make your pictures look a lot better, you can doctor the contrast using a photo editing software. Picasa is Google's free photo editing software and it's simple to use with quick fixes where a single click can automatically remove any red eye and adjust colours and brightness. Now what you're aiming for is the blacks to be properly black and the highlights to be up to maximum brightness. If you have a relatively sophisticated software like Photoshop Elements, you can adjust the levels on a histogram for greater control. The histogram shows the brightness distribution of all the pixels in the photo. Tweak the sliders so the darkest pixels are black and the brightest pixels are white. Now's a good time to play with the colours. Adjusting the saturation will make everything look a lot more vibrant, but don't overdo it otherwise it will look a bit weird. Adjusting the white balance will also make things look a lot warmer and sunnier. If the colours in the photo are a bit sickly, then why not make the picture black and white? A simple snap suddenly becomes a thoughtful portrait. Now if there's something spoiling your photo that you want to get rid of, like my picture of John, I've managed to catch the cameraman which is a bit annoying, then you can easily get rid of it and do what the professionals do by cropping it out. It's really easy to do, you just select the crop tool, highlight the part of the image that you want to keep, press enter, hey presto it's gone. If there is too much empty background in your photo, then try pulling down the top and pull up the bottom to zero in on your key elements to create a more dynamic panorama. Now, you could spend hours fine-tuning your photos, but there really is no need. All you need to do are these few simple tweaks to dramatically improve your images. 